Most of your video clips will be long and need to be trimmed. I will show you two methods for trimming in VSDC. The first method trims the clip directly on the timeline. Move the cursor to the beginning of your video clip. Then click on Set Begin Work Area by cursor position. View your video clip using the scrubber and determine where you want the new beginning of your video clip to be. Once the scrubber is placed where you want the video clip to start, click on Set End Work Area by cursor position. The light gray area between the blue bars is the section of the video clip that will be removed. Under the Editor tab on the Tools menu, click on Cut Out Fragment. Repeat these steps to trim the end of the video clip. Then preview your trimmed clip. I will repeat these steps to show you the workflow. Now I will show you the second method for trimming. You can begin this trimming process on the timeline by placing the cursor where you want the video clip to begin. Right click on the video clip and select cutting and splitting from the menu. The video editor window appears and a blue dashed line appears where the cursor was on the timeline. Place your cursor over the blue line and hold your left mouse button. Drag the blue line to the beginning of the clip. The blue line is now turned into two red lines. This is the portion of the clip that will be removed. Click on Cut Region. The cut area now shows up in the Cut Areas panel at the bottom right. Now we'll trim the end of the video clip. In the same window, left click on the right side of the timeline to place the dashed blue cursor. Using your right and left arrow keys, preview the end of your video clip to determine where you want the clip to end. Drag the blue line to the end of the clip. Again, you'll see the red lines indicating the portion of the video clip that will be removed. Click on Cut Region. Preview your trimmed video clip by clicking on the beginning of the video button, followed by the play button. Click on Apply Changes. Click Yes to confirm the changes. If you trimmed too much off of your video clip, you can restore the trimmed sections by right clicking on the video clip, selecting cutting and splitting from the menu, and then looking in the bottom right cut areas panel, you can see the beginning and the end of the clip that has been removed. Select either of those cut areas and click on Restore Region. At the top, the area between the red dashed lines is the restored region. Select a new section to be removed. I will use both methods to trim the remaining clips to show you the workflow once again. The remaining clips are on a sprite, so I'll double click on the sprite. 
and perform the same trimming techniques within the sprite. As I mentioned before, the second trimming method can start right on the timeline by placing the scrubber at the new beginning. But for whatever reason, that does not work within a sprite. You can see where the scrubber is currently, approximately in the center of the video clip. If I right click on the clip and click on cutting and splitting, you can see that the blue dashed line is at the beginning of the clip. This is no problem, you simply just have to do all of your selection within the video editor. Reorganize your trimmed clips by clicking on Select All, then Set Blocks Order. If you're within a sprite, don't forget to change the end of the sprite. If you choose, you can also rearrange your clips manually. Preview your project by clicking in the timeline to activate the timeline, then click on the beginning button followed by the preview button. Then close the preview window.